Yeah, uh, Jake, the past couple of games, I mean, even at Ohio State, it's, it's a tough game to have your best career game, but it was for you. Uh, your connection with Talia, you feel growing as the season goes on, five catches and four catches and three catches, uh, and more yardage. Yeah, I feel um, that our connection definitely getting better. I feel like my uh, role is being expounded upon as you know certain guys are starting to go down. So I feel like that's uh, what plays into it. But yeah, definitely our connection is getting better. We're starting to trust each other more and you know, just have that feel for each other, just knowing where what he's thinking and what, what he knows what I'm thinking without you know, really having to tell him. Is there a play in the playbook where you spring deep yet? Uh, or is that a secret? You're a little closer to the end of the career than the beginning. Is yeah. it still special to go on the road? And what's your favorite part of being on the road with your teammates? Honestly, it's, it's the funny memories that you just like randomly make. You know, being on the road, you know, just you just mm -hmm. it feels like you're free. You know, it feels like you're just away, like yeah. you're just with your guys. It's, I feel like a field trip almost sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'll say the number one thing that's probably went wrong the last two weeks offensively is just beating ourselves. You know, you know, a lot of these past two weeks, you know, we've struggled a lot, but a lot of the time it's not really even been what the other team was doing. It's just been what we weren't doing and just not executing plays that we execute on a daily basis. And you know, just having turnovers, well, the amount of turnovers we have in the past few games, you're not going to beat many teams. We always see the turnover chart after games, and we see like the teams who are positive in the turnover uh, category they are they win a lot more times than the teams who are negative. So just limiting turnovers, limiting penalties, and just being a more disciplined team and just executing our stuff, that's the thing we've been working on over the bye week. Come back in this week on to Minnesota. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. Hey, Ben, Jake Hey, Ben, Jake. Um, Looking at Minnesota, what they do defensively, uh, what makes, even though you guys had a shootout last year, they've got a lot of strengths on that side of the ball. What concerns you the most? And, uh, you know, what is it, it, what memories do you have of last year's uh, when it was on Friday night, the first home game for you guys in the pandemic? Well, last year, I don't really have that much memory because I was just a spectator. So, uh, but I do know that Minnesota is always a, a well coached team. And they have a, a, they have a really good, Front, front four uh, defensive line. I think that's where their their strength is. They have uh, veterans down there, so I think that's where their strength probably is on their defense. Um, secondary, their secondary is okay. But, um, I think that the place that we would be concerned of anything would be their their D line. Hey, Jake, how's it going? How you doing? Um, so halfway through the season. Uh, do you feel both in terms of record and with the development of the team, do you feel like the team is where you were expecting them to be? Uh, and where do you think you guys could potentially grow? Where do you feel like you guys have really uh, succeeded so far? I think this team has succeeded really in uh, staying together because we've been in this situation before where we've had a positive record, record but we had pretty bad losses at the same time. And I feel like in, uh, in the past with those teams, a lot of guys kind of like mentally checked out and they kind of lost the vision of the team. That's why I think this team is a lot better. We don't have guys mentally checking out. We understand the mistakes that we've made in the games, and we want to correct them so that we have a chance to win every single game going forward. Yeah, uh, Jake, the past couple of games, I mean, even at Ohio State, it's, it's a tough game to have your best career game, but it was for you. Uh, your connection with Talia, you feel growing as the season goes on five catches and four catches and three catches uh, and more yardage. Yeah, I feel um, that our connection is definitely getting better. I feel like my uh, role is being expounded upon as, you know, certain guys are starting to you know, go down. So I feel like that's uh, what plays into it. But yeah, definitely our connection is getting better. We're starting to trust each other more and, you know, just have that feel for each other, just knowing where, mm -hmm. what he's thinking and what, what he knows what I'm thinking without, you know, really having to tell him. Is there a play in the playbook where you spring deep yet? 
that's secret? Actually, that's, that's, that's secret. I probably couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, you're a little closer to the end of the career than the beginning. Is yeah. it still special to go on the road? And what's your favorite part of being on the road with your teammates? Honestly, it's, it's the funny memories that you just like randomly make. Just, it feels like you're free, you know, it feels like you're just away, like yeah. you're just with your guys. It's, it feels like a field trip almost sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, just I'm just trying to take every day, one day at a time now, because I'm, I'm realizing now, like, wow, like, the time is really going yeah. before I'm done. Who's it's, your roommate? My roommate in um, the hotels is Corey. Oh, cool. A tight end room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey man, just a quick follow up. Um, Coach mentioned obviously with Dante out and now Deshaun being out as well for a season ending uh, surgery. For you, what have you noticed from specifically the receiving core, but offensively as a whole, how sort of the guys have rallied around, um, knowing that those are two tough injuries, but you guys still have six more games? Where's the confidence level right now amongst the remaining guys? Oh, very confident. I mean, guys are like, you know, they've been very eager to have a chance to play. You know, the, the wide receiver group is like our, our best group on our team. So you know, there's a ton of guys in there that can come and play at a high level. So there's no, um, no one's like nervous, no one's worried. Like they're all ready to go. So I can't wait to see like some guys get increased roles in this game, especially because uh, there's really talented players on our roster who don't get a chance to play because, you know, it's just the next man's up mentality. So. Hmm. Hey, Jake. Uh, um, and just kind of piggybacking off of that, just because I remember a couple weeks back, um, you had mentioned that you kind of view yourself as, as better in to try to maybe keep the younger guys never too high, never too low, anything like that. So when you lose a guy like Dante and then you lose a guy like Deshaun, um, how do you play that role in keeping the guys, you know, kind of maybe level headed and um, maybe kind of focus on the task at hand? No, I try to, uh, just try to remind guys every day of like what the vision is what we're working for and just try to remind them that even if our players go down, we still have more guys uh, to step up. It's like that's the way we recruited the program. We're the best players we can. So it's just, it's just to trust that the trust that everybody does their job and you know, just telling just make sure those young guys don't get discouraged because you know, being getting blown out, you know, it's it's not something that's normal for a lot of players like coming out of high school where they were just dominating every game they played. So just making sure they don't lose focus and don't lose uh, don't get discouraged about games like that. Every game is every given Saturday. We can always you know, win the next one. Um, hey, Jake. Um, you, you kind of mentioned how your role has expanded this year, and, and kind of going off the questions about the injuries for, for the tight ends group, and, and you and Corey. Was there a little bit of an emphasis or urgency to to get and stay involved in, in the pass game now? Yeah, I probably would say so. You know, uh, you know, just trying to get our, our best players involved. I feel like you know we're really good players. We feel like we're really good players. So. Having the opportunity to 